Welcome to Aitlan, a weekly podcast connecting faith, life and scripture. It's Sunday the 3rd of March 2024 and I'm thinking about roots and regulations. So far this Lent, I've been thinking about God's covenant of faithful love, our commitment in response, how easy it is to compromise and how difficult it can be to know where our life has gone astray. Where are the guidelines? Who sets the rules? Well, this Sunday we're reminded of the Ten Commandments. I wonder how many people today know them and could recite them in order. In the Bible, they're introduced by a statement of what God has done for the Hebrew people. He has led them from slavery in Egypt to freedom in the promised land. And these commandments are the core principles by which they are to live in that freedom if they want to flourish. Over time, a body of teaching and regulations known as Torah or the law grew up around the commandments. As a gardener adds compost to improve ground, this wisdom fed the culture in which the community was rooted. It set out how to put the principles into practice in the various circumstances of community life. Many of those circumstances are not applicable today, but the core principles remain. Jesus summarised them in this way. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, and you shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments, he said, hang all the law and the prophets. And Jesus taught that these principles apply to attitudes as much as actions. For example, You may not have physically killed someone, but how has anger affected your attitude towards them? Psychologists say that living in conflict with our core values causes psychological stress or dissonance. I suggest that living in conflict with God's core values causes spiritual dissonance and will also affect our emotional, psychological and even physical well-being. Looked at like this, the commandments are not so much a set of regulations as a framework for living, even a way of life. Scripture uses the image of a tree rooted in good soil near a source of water as a metaphor for life lived according to these principles. For example, in Psalm 1, St Paul described it as being rooted and grounded in love. Roots give the tree stability in time of storm and also seek out nourishment so that the tree is healthy and bears good fruit. So the questions I'm asking this week are, what am I rooted in? What gives me emotional, psychological and spiritual stability? What are my rules for living? How do they align with the Ten Commandments and the law of love? How do they nourish my soul? What attitudes? might I need to change? They are questions which need time and prayer to answer. But God, the gardener of souls, is always on hand to help those who ask. And so my prayer this week from St Paul's prayer in the third chapter of his letter to the church in Ephesus May you be strengthened in your inner being through God's Spirit. May Christ dwell in your heart through faith. 
May you be rooted and grounded in love. May you know the love of Christ that surpasses all knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen.